Hello everyone, and welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be going over how to install cursors, custom cursors on Windows 10. And over here, I'm in my cursors directory with all the cursor packs I've downloaded, and we'll be going over how to install one of them. So suppose you have a cursor pack, so and you have, you're in the directory with all the .cur files. If the creator is nice, he'll, he or she will have the install file for you ready to go and if you're afraid you can actually look into it because it's all just text and you can verify if it's actually doing something legitimate well you can't really verify this but as you can see the registry that's being edited is has to do with the cursor schemes so you know this isn't gonna screw up your system and over here tell this tells you what files to use and over here tells the registry the 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 files what what you know what pointer goes with what file okay and here's the name of the scheme so in this case it's breeze hack blue so want to do what you want to do is you want to right click this you want to click install then this pop up will show up in your screen it'll probably dim the screen because what I've done is I've disabled that option so that OBS can actually record this. And what you want to do is click yes, and then Windows will read the install, you know, run the script. And now what you want to do is you want to click, you want to search up pointer in your start menu. And what you want to do is you want to go to this control panel setting. You don't want to go into the system settings or anything like that. What you want to do is you want to go to something that goes to the control panel and it doesn't actually go to the control panel it actually goes to this mouse properties window which is you know part of the control panel hence the name control panel underneath there so over here you click scheme and then it'll show up the scheme that you just installed will show up and you can just click it and you can click ok now since i already have this installed we're good to go but in some cases as if you caught, if you listen to my words carefully, I said if the creator is nice, but sometimes the creator doesn't actually may not know or something, so they might not have an install file for you. So what you want to do in that case? So in this case, this install file did not. I actually made this and it's incomplete. So in this case, how would you go about installing this cursor pack? Well, it's easy. You just click first. You click the scheme as none, so you don't mess up all the other schemes. Then you see customize, you can actually click browse over here for each of these, or you can double click. And you wanna browse to the location of your cursors. So in this case, I've actually copied the folders into my Windows cursors folder, but you don't have to do this. I did it for ease of use. And what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna click the cursor that goes with each one. Sometimes you may have to rename them so that you can easily find it so for example normal select goes with normal over here and then after you're done what you want to do is you want to you can either click ok or apply but i suggest you click save as and then you want to write in the scheme name so in this case i'll do it test and then you can you know have it saved as a scheme so i'll delete that because i don't need it and that's how you do it then you want to click ok and there you go you got yeah that pop-up might show up that it has to replace some scheme name or something but you can ignore that and there you go you have your cursors installed so if you came here from the medium article i wrote now you know how to make use of those cursor packs and if you haven't read the medium article and you're here from youtube first then i suggest you go read my medium article because i actually it's about the cursor packs that i found very nice and the installings for them and I'll go over them really quickly here there's evolution OS so this is because it looks like it, it's inspired by Mac OS there's better black so this actually adds these black pointers that the native Windows 10 black cursor theme lacks and the one I use which is called breeze hacked which you know has this techie flavor to it that may or may not satisfy your taste it just fills my niche so you know 
that's why I have it. So I hope you found this video helpful and leave a comment if I miss anything. See you in the next one.